Welcome to the Queensland Brain Institute. Inside this remarkable seven-storey building at the University of Queensland, you'll find more than 450 of the brightest minds from right across the globe, all working to unearth the mysteries of the brain. Now, we actually know more about out of space than we do about our brain, which seems crazy when we rely on our brains every single day to function. Let's take a look at some of the incredible work they do. Every day, 244 people are diagnosed with dementia. Jürgen, what is happening in the brain of an Alzheimer's um, sufferer? In all Alzheimer's disease brains, one finds plaques and tangles, and these plaques and tangles cause memory and learning impairments. And you've come up with this incredible treatment that is drug-free, mm -hmm. non-invasive. Tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about that. It's absolutely amazing. So we have combined ultrasound with contrast agents, which are medically approved. And by using this combination of microbubbles and ultrasound, we are able to remove plaques and tangles and also to restore memory functions. That is incredible. So yeah. basically, the ultrasound rays um, yes. penetrate through the skull, mm -hmm. open up the blood-brain barrier, and that whole process helps to clear away the mm -hmm. plaques. This is absolutely correct, yeah. So you have been able to stop the disease and restore mm -hmm. memory. Absolutely, so we were really successful in animals and we hope that we can also achieve this in humans. That is so fascinating. I'm sure yeah. you're really surprised at this discovery as well. On the one hand, we hoped that this would be the outcome, but absolutely we were surprised by the extent of memory improvement in the animals. And we really hope that we can achieve something similar in humans. So inspiring, this discovery, Jürgen, for, yeah. for people living with dementia. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's Very exciting, pleasure. fascinating, Thanks, fascinating yeah. stuff. Let's go next door and see what other exciting research is underway here. For neuroscientists, understanding the brain and how it works comes from examining the basics of science. And I'm with Dr. Sean Coakley, scientist Dr. Sean Coakley. Great to see you. Now, he studies these tiny transparent worms known as C. elegans. Did I pronounce that right? That's perfect. And these little tiny creatures are a part of your study of the human brain. How does that work? Yeah, they're a really common model organism, we call them. And these tiny worms, you might just be able to see them on here. So tiny. They're microscopic, so the biggest ones that we can just see here with our naked eye, they're about a millimetre long. And these worms have very few neurons. They're a very simple organism. They only have 302 neurons, exactly. We know that exactly. Compared to us, we have over 100 billion. 100 billion. So it's on a completely different scale to your brain. As I'll show you, they're transparent which means we can not only see these neurons through the body wall of the animal, but we can watch them develop and we can manipulate them as well. Absolutely fascinating. As I said before, worms are completely different to the human brain. Do you think one day we might be able to know what every single one of our billion brain cells will be able to do or can do? Absolutely, that's the hope. We hope that by understanding a, a simpler creature and the more basic fundamental principles that help a nervous system develop and grow, we can then scale those things up to more complicated organisms such as yourself. Well, so much information is stored in the brain. What food we like, what makes us laugh, whether we like red or white wine. And we're here with Dr. Claire Bradley who studies something called neuroplasticity. Did I get that right? Sure. <laughs> the brain's ability to constantly change itself. So having a plastic brain is a good thing. Is that what you're telling me? Definitely. Uh, plastic just means um, that the brain is able to change with various life events. So you might be learning something or something very important happened and you'll remember that. So plasticity is very much linked to our ability to remember things. And there's a great deal of research showing that as uh, you age or in older adults, um, plasticity is reduced and that could be linked to uh, the fact that people remember things less well and we're trying to address that. I'm going to do a demonstration of a type of brain stimulation that's called transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's a technique that allows us to probe how the brain works. Brain stimulation, can that also help us remember things like I'm always losing my keys amongst other things? Well, that would be the end goal but we're not quite there yet. So for the moment um, it allows us to know how well the system functions and uh, to trigger movements in people. We're currently running a trial in healthy elderly people and trying to mimic some sleep-related brain activity to try and see if, just like real sleep, um, we can make people remember things better. So the call's <laughs> out. If you are over 65, we want you for trials, is that right? Absolutely. So simply contact the team at QBI. 
So there you have it. These scientists are helping us to live longer, healthier and smarter lives. The discoveries made right here at the Queensland Brain Institute have the potential to impact lives of millions of people from right around the world. It is absolutely fascinating. If you would like to know more about the work of QBI scientists, please visit the website via the link below or Google Queensland Brain Institute. Now where did I leave my keys? <laughs>